I don't care if you beat us last week. You aren't deserving of a shot at the ECW Championship. Tommy Dreamer had no authority to make the match for Royal Rumble. He did it because he knows he couldn't handle the Tuesday night delight. This injustice will soon be remedied. You can't stop my destiny, punk. You can only hope to delay. What's going on guys, it's Deontay, aka Dr. Ryan 7 back in the video. Uh, unfortunately we did miss a, miss a cutscene. Well, actually I, don't think, actually I don't think we missed it, but there was no audio. Speaking of that, I did fix the audio for the cutscenes, I believe, so I think you might be able to hear them this time. But I uh, just want to say real quick, if you guys enjoy the, this content, uh, if you want to see more Road to WrestleMania's after we finish the punk one, uh, let me know down in the comments. But let's get into this, let's do this note here. I can help. I can both help Tommy and shut these guys up. Okay, so you just gotta make sure that uh, Tommy Jimmer beats Elijah Burke. I almost said Elijah. What are you doing, Deontay? You alright? But if I remember correctly, I think it ends in DQ anyway. And there's the man, the myth, the legend. The ECW legend, might I add, Tommy Dreamer. I think he's an Impact now, if I'm not mistaken. Because uh, I know he's not in AEW, so I think he's an Impact. As you see, there's, there's Taz and Joey Styles. Taz, current AEW commentator. So you can either, you can either sit here and wait, or you can mess about. And you know, beat up Morrison. Uh, I, didn't, oh, I forgot you get. I forgot you. You you'd get DQ. I forgot about that. Oh wait. Oh wait. That's supposed to happen. I forgot. And I can't get in the ring. I cannot get in the ring. What's going on? But yeah, uh, it turns out you're supposed to get you're supposed to get DQ'd. I don't believe there's a way for him to actually win, like pinfall and everything. Oh, now I can get in the ring. We got a finisher. Dusty, let me hit the GTS. What's wrong with you? Big GTS. You know, it's you know, it's funny. Uh, a couple days ago, I actually just wa I actually watched um, CM Punk's ECW debut. Yeah, you know, it, was, it, was, it wasn't it wasn't a five star classic. You know, it was a good five minute match made him look good. You know, I'm just saying, if you get to debut in the Hammerstein Ballroom, that that mean that means a lot. And if you don't know what the Hammerstein Ballroom is, just Google Hammerstein Ballroom ECW. As we kick the referee there, there cutscene time. Dreamer and Punk seem to be getting the better of Burke and Morrison. A tactical retreat doesn't mean this thing's over, Joey. Punk might have been thinking about doing something there. Then why didn't he? If the champ gives you an advantage, you got to take it.
Yeah, we got the Royal Rumble. You know, one thing that makes me mad about this game is actually this, this code for any WWE game. Hold on. This is the big time, punk. Give it everything you got. You're good. But we're about to find out if you can go extreme with me, the innovator of violence. Alright. One thing I don't like is in WWE games, whenever they have the MSG arenas, like normally they'll have like the stage would be like in front or beside the ring. In WWE games, it's always in the front. They get they always get the MSG MSG stages wrong. It sucks. Well, let's start this match. Both nets cool is that for, in this game, if certain characters like for pair views, they have alternate tires. So you can actually unlock a CM Punk's WrestleMania 24 tire. See. It's an extreme rules match, so you know, you know, it's gonna be. You know, if you know me, I like tables, so it's gonna be. That's the tables. You, if you saw PSA Friday, we did we did CM Punk versus Marcus Corvon on Smack SBR08, and I tried to, to jump off a ladder and go through a table, and it didn't work out too good. So I don't think we'll be trying that here. And my phone's going off. This ain't good. I gotta start turning my phone off when I record these videos. Oh, it's not actually extreme rules match. I was hoping to let you like a uh, pick. Nope. Go for the Sabu. Triple jump moonsault. Sorry. Uh. One thing that sucks is well, that sucks. I was hoping that uh it, it would actually let us pick the weapons, but this is fine too. You know, what, you know, it is, it is what it is. You tell me to go in the corner because I want to see something. Yes, he does have it. I think I found the thumbnail. That, yeah, he probably has the RVD then. Oh no, okay, that's one where he punches him then. Gonna lift him up. Go for the GTS. GTS, go to sleep connecting. Ref, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? Count the pinfall, man. Count faster. What is Vince paying you? I'll double it. Oh, he blocked the triangle. Not triangle. Triple jump moonsault. I was, about, I was thinking of Chris Jericho's triangle drop kick, not the triple jump moonsault. One thing we can do, though, is we can pull Shane McMahon and put him through the announce table. Come on, Tommy, get out of here. We're going to put him through the Spanish one first. Or actually, we'll put him, we'll put him, yeah, I'm not racist. We'll put him through, we'll through the American and the Spanish announce table. Put down sledgehammer. Put down sledgehammer. You're not Triple H. As we just give him punches in the barricade. And that is not the ECW World Championship. That is the World Heavyweight Championship. I missed that belt. Go, we're gonna pull a Shane McMahon. If I can get on the top rope. I think we're about to see a high risk move from the top rope. He drops the elbow. Whoa. We're gonna give him a GTS on top of the announce table, and it's probably gonna break. Oh no, it didn't break. Fortunately, it's not false count anywhere, but he should be done for now. A media kick out? Not even a not even a one count? What is wrong with you? All right, we're going to the top rope. We're going to the top rope here. Big elbow drop, signaling the Macho Man. 
Yeah, let's, put, let's, let's put him in the Anaconda Vice. There we go, tap out. personnel out tending to Tommy Dreamer. Alright, I think that is going to do it for this episode of the CM Punk World WrestleMania and SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Make sure you tune in next Monday for, uh, for episode 3 of this series. And on Wednesday, tune in for week three of the UFC 4 Openweight Grand Prix. Anyway, guys, I will home if we have a cutscene then. I'm not going to stop. This doesn't count. Yep, there's a cutscene. Okay. At Royal Rumble, a superstar got hurt. My good friend and ECW original, Tommy Dreamer. And I am sick and tired of this happening time after time. You people love extreme rules matches? Well, I'll tell you what, it takes a huge toll on us. It's the single reason I had to retire. When a superstar is injured, it's bad for business, and my family doesn't like that. Thanks to Taz's concerns, I'm here by abolishing extreme matches. Effective last week. That means CM Punk's win at Royal Rumble is negated. And I need him to come out right now to relinquish the ECW Championship. What, that's it? Sorry, CM, no more title? You're too extreme for ECW? Unfortunately, yes, but... Talk about hitting a guy when he's down. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a brawl here. Okay, well hold on. This episode's not gonna end right now because let's because there's a brawl going on. I completely forgot about that. I'm sorry. Isn't it weird that Elijah Burke got the biggest push of his career in a video game? Same with MVP before the hurt business. Those Anderson Silva like knees. Gonna go for GTS. Yup. Going for a go to sleep. It's rare that they, they actually block, uh, it's rather they actually block the uh, finishers. Also, the camera angle for the outside just sucks. Look, see, like, look, look at this. Like, what? THQ. Also, let me correct myself. In uh, the PSV Friday episode of SVR08, I said THQ were generous to ratings. THQ is the publisher. Yukes were the developers, so correct myself from last week. That's two go to sleep, so then he busted wide open. The blood is coming down from the forehead. The headbutts. Look. Look at all the CTE going on here. Yeah, this is a concussion. That's three GTSs in a row! Am I supposed to do something? Okay, I think it just ends. Yeah, it's about to say. Do I just do I'm not supposed to do something or just end? Elijah Burke maliciously 
attack the dejected CM Punk. Punk put it on himself with his actions, Joey. When did you turn state's evidence anyway, partner? All right, hopefully there's nothing, not another cutscene after this. We're almost halfway there too. There's only 12 weeks in each year's World WrestleMania. All right, cool. Not another cutscene. Great. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, like I said, tune in Wednesday for week three of the Open Week Grand Prix. And uh, if you guys suggest for PSC Friday, type it down in the comments because I don't know what to play for this week's episode episode of PSC Friday. I don't know what to do. So, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this has been it. Peace. I'm out.